not a question of if, but a question of when, where, and how. Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures is brought to you by Great Clips, Quick Trip, and the Boat Center. I'd like to welcome everybody here to kick off the 2021 season of the Professional Musky Tournament Trail. PMTT's Vitamin Mineral Spring Shootout here at Cape Run Lake. The Professional Musky Tournament Trail kicked off an amazing 23rd season as 105 teams representing 12 states gathered in the beautiful mountains of Eastern Kentucky Cave Run in Moorhead for the first qualifier. Generally considered a predictable numbers lake, 23 years though have shown that the high land reservoir system can be wildly unpredictable in the spring. Flooding rain, cold, muddy, heavy stained water, near freezing temperatures, and a hard drawdown were not in the angler's favor. Water temps, well they've flattened out in the mid 50s. One still PMTT Cave Run Lake. We moved up into the back of Scott Creek. And as we got back up in here, usually it's just loaded with boats. This whole area back here is loaded with boats in the back of Scott Creek here. Scott Marina is right here. It's a notorious musky spawning area. It's you, and there's nobody back here. We got just a few small boat, one, two, three, four guys back here. And it's usually loaded. That tells me they're not finding the muskies like they usually do. It could have been the high water, everything else. So the guys have probably moved out and searching in other areas. So. Nice. Nice job, guys. Very good. It's good. Anytime you catch one, it's good. Day one delivered only 13 muskies registered up to 45 and three quarters, with no one doubling up by the end of the day. Things were still wide open for day two. Water temps, well, they've flattened into the mid-50s for the past month, and we're keeping most of the fish what seemed to be an extended negative to neutral pattern. With temps in the low 40s, and the promise of a cold rain, did little to damper the spirit of this eager field of musky hunters. which is also the tag team of this one. They got a 38 and a quarter and a 37 and a quarter, total of 110 points, $5,760. James Ryder and Cesar Ciceo. In first place, with the only triple of the tournament, 34 and three quarters, 34 and three quarters, 37 and a half, 140 points, $15,040. Anthony Smith and Scott Salty. So it's game day and you need to get your hair in shape. Enter Great Clips. Our skilled stylists save your haircut details and clip notes for the look you love almost as much as your team. We got you and you got this. Great Clips. It's going to be great. Service at the Boat Center. Our team of certified technicians are here to service and maintain your boat to promote its longevity. We service any make, model, and style of boat and motor. Our services include full engine rebuild, oil and filter change, battery inspection, prop and skag repair, winterization, 
shrink wrapping and fiberglass repair. Service you can depend on. That's what you get with the Boat Center. Call today to request a service appointment. Two locations, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin and Ramsey, Minnesota. KOTV is an all-new outdoor streaming channel on all Roku devices. And it's free. Loaded with lots of top-name outdoor fishing and hunting shows. Shows like Larry Smith Outdoors, Chase Nation, The Sportsman's Journal, Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventures, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods, just to name a few. KOTV is all about the adventure, all about the outdoors. And best of all, KOTV is free. Learn more, go to kotvchannel.com. have a wedding and you forgot to get a haircut just open the great clips online check-in app and a few taps you're in out and wow pretty much the best looking guy at the party we got you and you got this great clips it's gonna be great well here we were back in the eagle river area for the second qualifier of the pmtt but this time with a twist we could now fish the three lakes chain as well opening up the tournament to a lot more great musky waters and spreading out the teams. On behalf of the PMTT, Mercury Marine, the Eagle River Area Chamber of Commerce and the Three Lakes Area Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to welcome everybody here to the second qualifier, Mercury Marine Summer Challenge. For Brian and I, our pre-fishing for this tournament was limited to only one day out on the water. For reasons, well, we had other commitments from Keys Outdoors. We would fish day one on the Eagle Chain. Our reasoning is we felt that there were just more muskies on the Eagle Chain compared to Three Lakes. But Three Lakes? They seem to have nicer fish. Pick your poison. Well, it's 11 o'clock, day one, PMTT. Um, you know, it's been uh, it's been quite the interesting morning. We have had one fish up three times, four times actually, nipping at the bait, but just won't take it. So we're gonna go fish some other stuff, and then we're gonna go back and try for her. But it's in a very community spot where we raise that fish, so we're hoping that nobody else sticks it. But right now, water temp 72, overcast sky, perfect conditions. But it's been tough up here. I mean, I know guys that have been up here pre-fishing for the whole week and just not seeing a lot of fish. And if they are seeing them, they're getting bit, but really short striking. And it's just the way that our weather's been. But uh, we're gonna go up river here. We're gonna hit water's mead and we're gonna pound some weeds. And that's really the, the only action that we've had has been weeds and wood. So that's what we're gonna stick with and hopefully it'll pay off for us. We forgot to put the stickers on. Got a legit one. I'm here for it, it's all right. We forgot to put the stickers on. That's all right. So we had to put the stickers back yep. on. Nice, they're coming in today. Quite a few. Got teams already popping. Right there, right there, right there. Got it. He's punching. Got it. Nice. Him so he can verify. Yeah. No, it's all good. Oh yeah, you want to make sure you got yeah. it. But he's just he's right on the right. Yeah, yeah. Here's the phone layer. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, guy. Thanks. Good job. You, you, you just you want to just that. grab his phone. You want to see the phone right away? Send. Got a little window going right now. While we're here right now with Team 105, we just had two other fish at the exact same time. So we got a definitely a little window happening here. We're a couple hours into day one, and. Man, we've already been hitting them, probably 15 fish already, so it's going to be a good tournament. You guys just want me to pull it out and show it? Yep. Did you guys yeah. already measure it and everything? Yep, 38 on the buff board. Cool.
Nice job, nice. guys. Thank you. 38? 38, 38, yep. Solid. That didn't take too long. Great. <laughs> Get a release here. Any others going today? Oh, uh, this was the first fish that we moved all day. It's been pretty slow going. We saw one get caught kind of off the point over there. Um, right after we fished it too. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been out here fishing the deep all day. Nice. As day one moved along, Brian and I focused on heavy, thick weeds and deep outside weed edges. Day one, well, it would come to an end, and no fish for Brian and I. The only action we had came in the morning till about midday. Now, we'd have to decide if we were going to stay on the chain or make a move to the Three Lakes chain. Well, here we are, day two, PMTT. Uh, Brian and I decided to make a lake change. We're down in Three Lakes just because we had four fish going, and they're just so gun-shy on the eagle chain all the tournaments and stuff that we just needed a change of pace so we're down here we're gonna get rolling get to the takeoff here and hopefully put a fish in the boat today morning morning morning, morning you ready to do this oh yeah <laughs> Two. There he is. There he is. No, he came up and I think bit the tail. Yep. I just went into my circle and he came up on it and I seen him clamp down and that's why I set back on him. For us, it wasn't about finding fish. We were on fish. It was about finding active fish. Fish that wanted to commit, fish that wanted to eat. Really that simple. Here we are, day two, PMTT, the Eagle River Three Lakes Tournament. The bite has been good. It's not as explosive as day one was, but the bite's been good. We got teams that have still been building bigger fish today, though. Know? We got up to mid 40, 44 and a half, almost 45 inches. We got a few in that range. So it's been better, but not as many as explosive. We got quite a few hours left, though, so could possibly break the Eagle River. We're already over 70 fish, and I think the record's 87. So we are, we are looking good for that. We've been hanging on the Eagle River chain here on day two. So I know uh, Mike and Brian, they've been fishing three lakes. They changed it up. They went from Eagle River to three lakes. They fish completely different. And a couple of the bigger fish today were caught over on three lakes. So let's throw it over to them and see how they're doing. With a total of five muskies we had up to the boat, but only one actually made a half, you know what, effort to eat the bait, we would fall short once again. But now it's time to see who is the winner of this event? All right! Not pretty good, Hardware. In third place with five fish. Wow. A 30 and a quarter, a 30 and a half, a 34, a 37 and a quarter, and a 38 and a quarter. Total of 199 points, $3,800. Tyler Manning and Ryan Bach. In second place with five fish. A 34 and a half, a 36 and a half, a 35, a 38 and a quarter, a 42. 255 points. It's also musky that are big fish for an extra 250. 5,450. Chris and Pete Fletcher. In first place with five. Quarter, 38 and a half, 37 and three quarters, 37.
37 and a half and a 42 and three quarters. They're also the tap winners. A total of 299 points. The Mercury Marine Summer Challenge event winners, Dan and Mike Latusik. Well, it was off to northern Minnesota for the Cass Lake and Lake Bemidji third qualifier. Big fish waters? Well, that's the reason why the PMTT decided to fish this area. Headquarters for the next couple days would be Rutgers Birchmont Lodge. And why not? This place is truly amazing. Everything you need, right here. Hey everybody, welcome to Keys Outdoors. Here we are, the third qualifier up here in Bemidji, Minnesota and Cass Lake. Tim, how many teams? We got 123 teams coming from like 13 different states. Phenomenal, love coming to Big Fish Water like this. We've never been to Bemidji for a qualifier. We've been to Cass, so we're doing a combo here. We're on Bemidji this morning though. And uh, Big Fish Waters, giant fish. I mean, any cast here, you can get, you. it could place you up there with one cast here. So, but I know the bite's been a little bit tough pre-fishing. You guys were, everybody was struggling a little bit, but we had a front come through yesterday. Right. Really a nice cool front, brought the water down. Now we're gonna start seeing a warming trend going again. What are you expecting out there, Mike? You know, the fish are scattered. They're shallow, they're deep, they're all over. We've been up here since Sunday. We've seen fish, marked fish, had fish going. But again, it's been all over the place. Yeah. So it's anybody's guess. You just gotta find that fish that's gonna eat. I'm expecting giants. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna be shocked to get a couple of 40 pounders in this tournament. So here we go, third qualifier up here on Bemidji, Minnesota, Cass Lake. We're gonna see uh, where it places out today and uh, who was lucky enough to boat some fish. Talk about a weather change, we went from no rain, very hot conditions, to a super cold front with gale force winds, rain, thunder, lightning, you name it, it was all upon us all at once. Go figure. Brian and I, we would decide to stay in Lake Bemidji, focusing on deep weed edges and mid-lake structure. We moved some really nice fish pre-fishing and thought if just one of these big girls decided to eat, that could be the fish we were looking for, that big kicker fish for this tournament. Blades, rubber, top water, big cranks, we threw it all, and no takers. This lake, it can drive you nuts. Well, day one of the Bemidji PMTT here, and uh, we're fishless. Uh, Mike got slammed, but um, we're on Bemidji right now, and it's pretty slow. Um, I don't, I don't think many fish are being caught out here, so we'll see what happens. We got an hour left. We might make a lake change tomorrow because we just we're just not seeing the fish. So um, see what happens. But we got one more day, and we got to put a fish in the boat. Uh, Brian and I decided to make a lake move. Um, Bemidji was just too tough. Um, only one fish being caught there, and there was quite a few boats there, so we're moving over to Cass now, and hopefully we'll be able to make it happen here. All we need is that one fish to get us into it, so that's what we're doing. We're getting ready to launch here. Day two would bring in, well, no weather change. Same as the day before. Windy and thunderstorms. This would be a total shot in the dark. I've only fished Cass Lake one other time, and Brian the same. All we could do is look at the map and pick out some good areas that look good, and we're relatively close to the takeoff, seeing that now time is a factor because we can only fish until 1 o'clock. Hey, here we are, day two of PMTT uh, Bemidji. It's 
it's crazy. The fish are really, really going. I We got them up to 52 inches already. We got teams double, doubling, tripling, a couple at 49 and three quarters. I mean, it's a great bite. We're only about halfway through the day already. Well, this is not how Brian and I wanted our BMTT season to end. Back to back bad years for us. But, you know, we'll be back, that's for sure. We'll get them next year. Finale, the awards for the Musk Hunter Magazine, Late Summer Showdown. In third place, with the triple. Oh, yeah. A 34 and a quarter, a 40 and three quarters, a 41 and a quarter. It's also the TAP Award for another 1850. In second place, with three fish, a 38, a 42 and a quarter, and a 49 and a quarter, total of 230 points, 4,000. $360, Marcus Torgerson and Jimmy Clink. All right, in first place, with four fish, a 36 and a half, a 40, a 40 and three quarters, and a 42 and a half, total of 255 points, $17,440, Ty and Tate on it. Now it's time for the World Championship on the Chippewa Flowage. This three-day format highlighting the top 40 qualifying anglers in a two-day elimination round where they must register a legal muskie to qualify to move on to the final day championship round. Not to mention the highly coveted Top Gun Team of the Year for the most consistent fish catching team of 2021. Wow. What is it? A perch. A perch. Hi, I'm Clayton Spies. I'm Nicholas Amros. How long you guys been fishing PMTT? This is our first year together. All right, and you guys are sitting in what place right now? We're in number one first. First place going in. Yep. How, how are you guys feeling about that? A little nervous. Feeling good. You feeling good about it? Yeah, I like good. it. Yeah, it's fun. How long have you guys been fishing the trail? We've been fishing for about three years now. Yeah, yep. we, we've been doing the uh, tournaments, uh, yeah, for three years, and uh, we started uh, doing them more frequently in the last uh, year and a half here. So, well, I hope yep. uh, we can have another interview here when you're holding trophies. Heck yeah. I hope so too. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks a lot. I'm Tate Senate, and I'm Ty Senate. What place are you guys in right now? No idea. Uh, I think we're third for Top Gun. Okay. So, so, so far, so good. Uh, obviously, a lot of pressure on us here. Right, home water. Home waters, which yeah. is the worst. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, we'll a see. A little nervous, a little nervous. So. I mean, we got a lot of fish going. We'll see if they bite. Uh, I mean, if we don't have three fish tomorrow, I'll be disappointed. If we don't boat three fish, I'll be very disappointed. Cool. Because um, tomorrow's going to be the day everybody gets bit. Yeah. It's going to be tough on Saturday. And if you make it to Sunday, it's going to be tough again Sunday. So tomorrow's the day they bite. So we need, I'm hoping need to have. a good day tomorrow. I'm hoping we get five in the boat. If we get three, I'll be a little disappointed. Nick Kushnerk, Mark Matteo. And here you are in fourth place overall for Top Gun Team of the Year. Pretty good. I mean, uh, we raised a couple fish here, caught a couple, so, you know, seems like it's going to be a fun tournament. You think uh, the weather change is going to help you? That's going to be a big thing for us once it starts raining tomorrow. Hopefully we get the bites we need. Well, good luck, guys, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have another interview come uh, Sunday. Awesome, will do. <laughs> 
here we are, PMTT World Championship on the world famous Chippewa Flow. Just don't get no better than that. I love this. We got the top 40 teams from throughout the year ready to go. We have a three day, three day event right here. You gotta catch a fish the first two to make it to the third. The fishing's been okay. It's been good, but we haven't heard of like, a lot of guys are getting one. It's kind of been a spotty bite. It's not slow, but they're not like figuring out a pattern, which is great. That means everybody's in it. You got two full days. They just got to get one. That's the main goal. After day one, a total of 14 muskies were registered. Day two would bring in 15 more muskies that would find their way to the net. And for the lucky anglers that made it to the World Championship on day three, well, that would show another seven muskies. For a grand total of 36 muskies boated. In the end, to yet another amazing PMTT. On behalf of the PMTT, Ranger Boats, the Lake Chippewa Floats Resort Association, and Treeland Resorts, I'd like to welcome everybody to the finale, the PMTT Ranger Boats World Championship. All right, for the Top Gun in third place. We got Nicholas Kushernick and Mark DiMatteo. In second place, father and son team, Dan and Mike Rosinski. The PMTT Top Gun Team of the Year, Ty Tate Senate. In third place with the triple, a 33 and a half, a 40 and a half, and a 42 and a half. Total of 178 points, Mark Lejewski and Jason Mullen. In second place, with a 42 and a quarter and a 51 and a quarter, also the tap bonus for another 1400 over $7,500, 182 points, Robert Bauer and Gary Blishek. In first place with the triple, a 37 and a half, a 43 and a quarter, and a 46 and three quarter. Also the tap award for an additional 1400. A brand new Ranger trailer, boat trailer and Mercury outboard. 222 points, 2021 PMTT World Champions, Chris and Pete Blitchers. Yeah. Keys Outdoors Muskie Hunting Adventures has been brought to you by Great Clubs. Quick Trip. The Boat Center, Skeeter Boats, Yamaha, as well as other sponsors that help make Keys Outdoors successful. Please support their services, products, and gear, as well as their beer. And make sure that you check out Keys Outdoors on our YouTube channel, as well as our KOTV channel.com.